second. The only reason why I say that, right. not that I'm trying to be negative, but Yuzuru Hanyu set such an incredible mark in that short program that unless he really trips over his own feet and goes into the stands. Twice. Yeah, twice. He's oh, not losing three it. times even. <laughs> First up, we have the Russian pair, Ksenia Stolbova, Fedor Klimov. Had to withdraw from Euros and Nationals because of injury. Her face is like the Mona Lisa. It's always the same, but you can read into it something different every time. I've heard this song before. But it's let's the, see their interpretation. It's the theme of the World Championships this time around. Oh, that's so great. You have to be a skater to know how hard getting up and into that spread eagle is. Right off the bat, they set themselves apart. Mm. No extra grade of execution on that one, I'm sure. Landing a little low in the twist, but going high on the throw. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful side by side triples. Huge. Best side by sides of the night so far. And they have an intense rivalry with their training mates, Volusia Zarantrankov, currently in first place. Same coach, same training site, but they never train on the same ice. Unlike Javier Fernandez and Yuzuru Hanyu, who take energy from each other, these four just don't seem to want to spend time together. And this is their first time as well going head to head with Vola Sojar and Trankov since the 2014 Olympics on home ice. That's right. Where still Bova and Klimov finished second. But I thought they won the long program. Senya Stobova, Fedor Klimov of Russia. Winners of the Grand Prix final this season after a shaky start. It was a fourth place at Skate America. But then nabbed gold at the Cup of Russia. And the pair from China is who we will see next here on Road to the Olympic Games in Boston. The Russian Stolbova and Klimov. And we've said this before in the other disciplines. You know, everyone is obviously here to win. They want to beat all the competition. But then there's that internal competition. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Canadians against Canadians, Russians against Russians, Americans against Americans. So they want to show Volosojar and Trankov that they're the top Russian pair. What I love about these two is they bring a relentless, restless intensity to every performance. From the second they start to move, you literally cannot take your eyes off them. They grab you and they keep you. Completely agree with you. I just felt that at the, the last two elements, like at the end of the footwork, they didn't keep the intensity alive. And you know what, that doesn't, 
really change the technical mark so much in that you lose that little magic elixir that you've created for the first half and even the last pose was kind of uh, uh, the, oh, sorry I just quite missed it so for me they didn't bullseye it they didn't quite bullseye it and of course the triple twist you know they lost they gave up whatever grade of execution the judges might have given them and on top of the element i'm sure they had a little negative as well so I think that's the death spiral might have been two, slightly three. iffy in execution right. too so today there seems to be catching a lot of people out today like, yeah which is unusual yeah death it spiral is. is usually kind of a check mark move mm -hmm. so they gave up a little bit i think tonight it wasn't a home run Oh, well, Sojar and Trenkov of Russia are holding on to the lead right now here in the short program. And they're going to need 77.14 to take the lead over the other Russian pair. They won't get it. 73.98. That will put them in the third position. And they will not change their facial expression until the camera is off <laughs> and then they will discuss the performance.